Do, 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 do. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Thursday night. It's the Sam Livecast, live from my kitchen here in San Diego, California. Hello to X Pro watching in Russia. Allow me to speak to you in your native tongue. <laughs> Hello, X Pro watching in Russia. Proud to have you part of Livecast. Watch from your country to here. <laughs> We should have him confirm if that's accurate. I wanted him to feel welcome, so (laughs) I spoke to him in his native tongue. Uh, By the way, if Terry and Gay win, if Terry or Gay win are watching, help me out. I don't know what's going on with the Black Eyed Peas. Help us. Here's what I did. I know you said, and I quote, uh, soak overnight approximately eight hours. And I think that that means you're going to wake up in the morning and make them do something with them. Well, I wasn't going to do anything with them until a little while ago. Just to catch everybody up, I had a bag of black-eyed peas, dried ones that I'd never used before. didn't know what to do with. We talked about them. I said, hey, if you've got a recipe, send one. Terry and Gay Wynn from Mississippi uh, were kind enough to send a recipe. Mm-hmm. Uh, wait, let me talk to them in their native tongue. <laughs> oh, no. Terry and Gay Wynn... Well, it started off a little Irish. A recipe from Mississippi. I don't know how they talk down there. You started off a little Irish. No, I did Yeah, he did. Anyway, um, I did. I soaked them for eight hours, which took us to about 4.30. I rinsed them. I covered them with water in a pot. And it said at a a ham hock, but they come in twos. By the way, can you guys find out where the hell the hawk is on a pig? Yes, I'm just as curious. I'm guessing it's It's like... here, oh, right? I thought it was here. Oh, it was too small. It was only about this big. Damn. We could go over there and look at it, Steve. Yeah. Why don't we, why don't we go do that? <laughs> she said we could go over there and look at it? No. Uh. <laughs> it was too small. Oh, it's too small. Oh, I get it. Oh. <laughs> where the heck is <laughs> so Lynn is now looking at diagrams of pigs. It. Yes. Well, so where the hell is the hawk in that? I'm looking, oh man. It's not that easy. Well, well, that last exploded one that you had, or no, the one below lamb. it might be good, too. Exploded? I think it's a... That was I think it's, No, no, no. You're, you're going too fast. The Go ham the is right. down here, right? So this is the ham. Oh, the ham hawk. Yeah. I don't know. Is is it this thing? What, what about this thing? Doesn't it look like that? No. Nope. Well, come look. We'll take a look. Oh, jeez. Anyway, so when you buy hawks... They come in twos. And I'm not using another one for anything, so I put two hawks in. And I don't think that's overkill. But so here's what I got going. Oh, see, now I turned it way down too much. I, I've just had the heat up. It's been down. So this is what a hawk looks like. Whoa. Looks like a heart. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay, would you? Really? I, am, I, am I the only one who thinks that? Sam. Okay, I'm not even credit. looking. A ham don't hawk look, is the joint between the tibia, fibula, and the metatarsus of the foot. Yeah, there's like three bones. That yeah, that's th- why it... What the hell? So if you look at... Let me see if I can pull this Wikipedia Don't look, thing. Mom. If you look at this Wikipedia thing back here, Sam. Yeah. Here, click over real quick. Hi, guys. Nice. Okay. It's these things. And these that's things. what I thought. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was kind of right. So Ew. right, so here would be the top part Ooh, of that it. That looks delicious. <laughs> well, here's the... Oh, oh hello. Shoots. Oh, God. That could have been really bad. Did I get you? <laughs> nope. You're going to go home smelling like pig. <laughs> just nice. throws my wife out. But so the idea is after cooking this in here, now it's been in here almost an hour and a half, you should be able to, this should be pretty tender. Oh, that meat's kind of tender. See, but I think they meant cook it for eight hours. No, 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 Slow no. Slow cook. It was not. No? No. In fact, that's pretty good. Really? Yeah. That actually, does not look finished. That is so cool. But this skin part, I don't know what you do with that. If anybody's watching that knows. Well, yeah, if they're watching. No, no, no. Uh, look, I read some recipes that said just do this for like an hour and a half or two hours with the dried beans. Oh, Becky, really? Becky Wash knows them, so. everything and Daddy. And yes. Becky just wrote, Sam, you're going to need more water and it's going to take a lot more time. Ooh. And then Addie went and what? posted exactly what the hawk was. How those much more ladies, time am I going to need? Those girls are on it. I, I followed their directions. Just, well, let's just remember, ladies and gentlemen. It was a setup. I'm Jewish and I'm from Canada. <laughs> there's nothing south about Canada, and Very there's far. nothing. Becky says, so "Cover the, it." Is it covered? I, it's been covered. Yeah. covered. So is she saying we're not eating this tonight? We're gonna have this. We're 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 having this in a little <laughs> we're while. We're gonna eat it regardless. And Kelly's eating it. No. We're just all gonna gnaw on the hawk. 
<laughs> I don't understand. I don't get it. Well, it doesn't matter, really. It's there. We're to look at, but here's the point, and, and it's an important point. I'm trying something that I've never made before, and that's the only way that you expand any of your horizons, your culinary, your physical, your mental, whatever. You got to try something you haven't tried before. You know what? I think everybody out there should try and make something that they've never tried to make before. Mm. I think it's a good idea. I mean, the you're gonna be you may be potentially bad at it the first time. Mm -hmm. I don't bake, but I can tell you if I try to make something that I'd never an angel food cake, which I generally buy already made, it, I might suck at it the first time. But then I figure out, oh, too much time in the pan, the oven was a little too hot, a little less sugar, whatever it is. The second time you do anything, it's infinitely better than the first time you do anything. Mm -hmm. Steve, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Do you remember the first time you had sex? <laughs> <laughs> he laughs. Was it that funny? Was it that funny? Was it just a bunch of elbows and arms and knees and shit banging around all over the place? <laughs> why, why are you asking me this? Well, the point is, <laughs> the first time was probably not nearly as competent as the second time. Am I right? You'll just have to ask her. You just... <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? Can we do <laughs> Let's give her a first name. Is. You don't remember. Don't no, do I that. totally remember. Oh, you do. You don't know where she is. No, I don't know where she is. Do you, well, let's ask you. Oh, I don't want to have that. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it was, what? It was. What? You got a deal. <laughs> okay, I'll just. I'll tell you. And Kelly knows this. I think. Are you uncomfortable oh, if I talk this, about this? this? Could be I'm awkward. a little uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. I'm, more, I'm uncomfortable <laughs> talking. <laughs> I had the classic. Oh, so like remember. Oh God. I'm We're 50. I'm, fi I'm, fi <laughs> yeah. I'm 52. Really? So things are a world maybe a little bit different then than they are for uh, people that are in their 20s or 30s. I don't know why. Probably not now that I've said that. My first experience was very uncomfortable, very awkward, over extremely quick, <laughs> and, and in the backseat of a car. Literally in the backseat of a car. I hear Max cracking up. Oh, oh God, so Zach, Zach is just there disturbed. Oh, my 17-year-old. He's disturbed. Uh, I'm, I am not blame him. My 17 I'm talking about the first time I peeled an orange <laughs> with one hand. <laughs> awkward moment. Yes. Awkward. But I'd be curious. I'd like to know how many... You see, where are you supposed to go? That's the thing. And I won't embarrass either of my children that happen to be in the room right now. But where are you supposed to go? When you're that age and that moment comes, your car in a parking lot that's empty at night, really one of the few choices that you have left to you. Am I right? Can I hear you say you don't remember the name? Oh, no, I remember the name. It was Gail. Oh, God. Oh, don't even tell him the whole connection. He'll be really mad. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I can't do that. Zach, well, yes. Six yes. Degrees. Yeah, her. <laughs> Zach, go turn that That's pot creepy. down to a simmer, please. This is turning. I don't know who Gail is. It's supposed to be simmering, not boiling. He knows what a simmer is? <laughs> it says he can't simmer make, on the knob. He can't make toast. It says simmer on the knob. He can't. Does that, wait, does, there, does something say simmer over there? It says mm. simmer on the knob. The knobs actually say stuff? Yeah. <laughs> well, I've they never do. noticed that before. Addie writes, how about your bedroom? <laughs> and Sandy writes, how did Max turn out so good? I don't know. Oh, thank you, Sandy. Oh, God. Even the dogs want to cover their ears. <laughs> <laughs> well. Hey, you know, see, uh, was it uh, Vaughn's? Oh, surprise, surprise again today. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, the people that uh, try to get you to sign shit and uh -huh. give money. Oh, it's so they, awkward. They cover both entrances. Yep. You can't get in or out without somebody getting you. I mean, the only way to get around it is, I don't have it with me, is you have to have your cell phone up to your ear. Yeah. Right. Oh, what? Oh my God, no. No, 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 here's the deal. I told him, he comes over to my place, then we'll, all, we'll join up, and then we're gonna go over to Alan's. No, <laughs> I, no, 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 we're not, no, it's we're not starting there and then coming backward. I mean, it's that thing, right? He's good at that, isn't he? I'm very good at that. And I did that a fake conversation. Phone. Where's my phone? Anyway, but the people that were there today are the, there was a man and a woman um, in like a nurse orderly uniform. Scrubs. No, 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 no. 
They're uh, then what? They're they're Latin, Hispanic. Mm-hmm. The woman looks like a nurse with the little old school nurses like crisp cap, mm-hmm. oh. folded thing. There's stripes that sort of make them look legit. Yeah. And I don't really know what what their thing is, but they ask you to give money. They get you on the way out. They oh. pretty much they ignore you going in. I know what you're talking about. On the way out, they get you. Right. And when you say uh, no thank you or whatever you choose to say not to have to donate, they say, God bless you. Have a nice day. Uh-huh. At, you're like three feet past them at that point. And I think the God bless you part gets some people to go, oh, shit, I'll go back. <laughs> Guilt trip. I think they know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. They got that thing figured out. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, honestly, I, I don't want to be mean. I do not believe it's a sincere. God bless you. Oh no, I don't think it's sincere what they're doing. There to you begin go. With, no, but. and I don't. I don't give to that. Yeah, I don't either. I remember I gave. Which, when we, I don't understand why supermarkets let these people stand out here. Uh, you know what? They might not be able to get them away. That's private property. But it's the mall's property. It's not the supermarket's right. property. Oh, that's a good point. So probably somebody from the mall has to come. Right. So, uh, yeah. Like I give money to the animals and and the this and the that and when you see them, and you've already given, and you go, I already did it. <laughs> well, no, seriously, I already did it. I, that's what I want to say because I know they're in their mind. They're going, yeah, right. Fuck you. Yeah. No, you haven't. Yeah. I have. I gave to the, the animals and the whales and the gay and the, the whatever it is. <laughs> and the gay, hey, really? The people without bodies and just a head and a brain and a thing and whatever. <laughs> you're, what? getting, you're a sucker, dude. <laughs> no, but I do. But then when they, they look at you and they, I go, I already did that. It was three days ago. They're like, yeah, sure. <laughs> believe that. That's why I like the Salvation Army. I think they're the best. They just sit there and ring their yeah. bell. No pressure. They're good. Yeah. There is no pressure. No, nope. no pressure. You know, uh, at Christmas, they did a thing on the news. There's somebody that's dropping. It has every year for the past, I don't know how many years, like a super expensive gold kind of coin. No way. There's like hundreds and hundreds of dollars mm-hmm. in the Salvation Army, you know, red tin things. Yeah. The kettles. They're kettles. Which is cool. It's Completely cool. anonymous. Yeah. We were talking about the pay it forward thing the other day. I like that. I know. I want to try. I'm going to try that one time. What are you going to do? I think like Starbucks is a good one, I think. But how do you do it? How do you know what the guy's going to have inside you? You go like this. I know. I'd, like to, I'd like to pay for the cute chick behind me's coffee. <laughs> what is she going to get? The guy's going to go. And you're going to go, um, she looks like she's a, uh, um, a grande latte, no whip, extra hot. Wait. We no, but you're right. Vanilla. No, but you're right. Now that I think about it, how... Can you do that? Do you, you, would just, do you just have to then give you just gotta go, you gotta go you just to the max. You gotta give a yeah. 10 a spot. spot okay, yeah. Yeah. And buy her muffin. But if you do that, Max, uh-huh. buy her a muffin or something too. But that'd be cute. And you the know, guy, what, that, the and guy you know that, what that girl's gonna say to herself? What? Yeah, again, another free cup of coffee. Oh my, yeah, yeah you're, <laughs> right. you're right. I'm gonna pick out some like gross dude behind me go. in line and be like, I wanna pay for that guy. You could do that. That would be awkward though. Can you imagine? More awkward than you taking pictures of people in the no, grocery store? No, no, look, store? I don't show their faces. <laughs> it doesn't make it any less awkward. I also, take, I also take the pictures on airplanes. I've got some from coming back, uh, coming back from Hawaii. Let's see. I can't I show know. the woman. Why? I, I can't. Do you remember the woman kill? The man woman? The, the he, she? Oh, the Come. mean one? No, from where? I'm sorry. The one I that said, so we're, we're in the airport in Hawaii. <laughs> oh, you showed me this. <laughs> I showed Steve. <laughs> we're in the airport in Hawaii and... <laughs> you can show that. We're walking around. No, I haven't... I haven't oh, blur out the picture. I yeah. haven't uh, glamour don'ted the eyes yet. But there's... I mean, it doesn't matter. You could do the head. That person will know who that person is. <laughs> so there's a woman... That's in and around the lounge area when Kelly and I are there waiting to check in. Mm-hmm. And um, I looked at her once and I turned away quickly because she scared me. She had a mean look. <laughs> I can't I want to show the picture in the worst way. Okay, come on. I, 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 well, now I, a, I don't know where my... Oh, my phone's right here. Oh, surprise. <laughs> the husband looks 
Submissive? Oh, <laughs> meek. <laughs> the husband was meek. meek. He was mild mannered. <laughs> mm. So she was just, I looked at her and she had this look. And so I said to Kelly, oh my God, I'm scared of her. So yeah. Kelly sees her. Now we're both scared of her. So I go and I sit down. We're in the little, what the, what's the, the waiting area waiting for the, the plane? The gate. The gate. And Kelly, go, I'm gonna get, Kelly goes, I'm just going to go wander around the shops and stuff, right? And get winter candy or whatever she gets. So I'm sitting there like this. Right here by myself. Just I'm looking at my phone. I got a magazine or something. I'm flipping through that. And this woman, this, this uh, woman is being far too kind. Comes and sits right, right across from me. I mean, literally, it's six or seven feet. She's right there, but she does this. I don't know if I can. Understand. Yeah, she crosses her leg. Oh, man. She does this, I'm telling you. It was intense. Legs like this. Show the picture. You can show. You can. Sh yeah. You can zo zoom in it on your phone. Okay. I can cut her head she off. She wanted to. Okay. Beat I can the cut like the top of her head off. So then, but wait, but there's two children, and the children are like hovering around and every time the children come and say mom blah 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 she does this ask, ask your father <laughs> it was like i almost heard a masculine voice it was ask your father and the father did everything in fact the father <laughs> worked for the particular airline because he had a like a thing hanging from his neck mm -hmm. he upgraded them her just her. one ticket he got one ticket upgraded and she sat there the whole time. Up in business class. Up in business, yeah. whatever it was. <laughs> he didn't. The kids came up with, Mommy, yes, and then she just shooed them away. <laughs> but the funny thing is, is she sat beside another woman that Kelly and I absolutely hated right from the start of us getting to the airport. <laughs> it was like two they, of them. Did they get along? Yes. <laughs> like a house on fire. You know what? Now that you tell the story... We're starting to sound a little bit like Steve when he's out in public. Uh, what what do you mean? Suddenly oh, the you shit follows him, but maybe he's the shit. So maybe we were the shit. <laughs> what do you mean? You know Steve's you like playing out and stuff happens. So I have this picture. Is it? Here's the here's the oh, picture. Hey now. <laughs> That's not the That's picture. Not the picture. Yeah. That is a picture in on the fact, beach, though. I took that. Oh, God. Kelly took that Jeez. just to make me not such a pig dog. No, I took that. <laughs> My wife took that. Okay, wait, here we go. But wait, I don't know how to show this. You got to tilt it or and then zoom it mm, a little? Or? We'll Hold preview on. the okay. shot, and if we approve I can do it. Hold here. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah, okay, here exactly. we go. Oy vey. I mean, you've already talked it up. It's like, hey, I got a great story to tell you. If we if can we do, do it everything really below the head. Okay, no, no, no. Do I can do this. I can fast. do it with my finger over the top. Yes, oh, there you okay. go. You guys tell me, does that work? Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Look, at here's, tell me, me. Let's see. tell me that. <laughs> does that not scare you? How'd yeah. you take that picture? We were right That is a woman? Is that really, there's yeah. breasts under that shirt? Yeah. <laughs> we were. What did he say? There's breasts. They're right there. You can see them. You guys are so mean. I was so scared. Okay, okay. Watch this. Let me just let me clue you all into Whoa. something that you might not be aware of. On the uh, Apple Four phones, right? Mm -hmm. When you go to take a picture, right? You can go right here and and click this button, right? Mm -hmm. Take a picture of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Hold on. There you go, like that, right? Or you can use the top volume button when you're in the when you're in the camera mode. Oh. You can use the top. Watch. Isn't technology cool. great? So check this out. So I'm sitting there on my phone right across from the woman, right? We're like this. We're only a few feet away from each mm -hmm. other. And I'm like this, looking at stuff on my phone. Oh, yeah. Blah, no, 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 no. There you go. <laughs> and she hears so a yeah. click. <laughs> and then you get that. But what, you, but what you have to do is you have to turn the volume off. We get the cough right. really loud when you press the button. <laughs> no, you just Sam's just turn the famous for taking. Pictures. Just turn the volume up. I, I take Anywhere. pictures. I've Anywhere. taken. Anywhere. You have no idea how many pictures I've taken of people sitting Wait. across the aisle from me on the plane. How about the couple on the way to Hawaii? Okay, I In got front, that here. Sam scored on the seat. Wait, do you see what he got to look at the whole time? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I keep meaning to. I keep meaning to bring this up as a topic. This is crazy. So we I need know, to go through all of your old pictures. Like, I, I know bet it's it, a treasure trove. I know it, it has nothing to do with food, <laughs> but it has everything. And I saw this yesterday, and it reminded me. Food at all yet. Yeah, I don't think. It's no, we've talked about the ham hocks. 
pig ankles. Uh, oh, God. Have they responded back yet? The people that they may not be there today. No, everybody, no. But I had Becky and Addie and a few other people. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to try and uh, I'm gonna have to try and I'll approve of the shot again. Glamour don't this myself. So get close on this and tell me. Oh my goodness. Here's what we're talking. Do you know what we're talking about here? Plastic surgery. Right. Oh. Do you see those lips? Oh my goodness. I I tried to get a really good angle of that. People. Just age. That was <laughs> not. I've been it seeing. Bad. I've been seeing a lot of this lately. And this I is, don't mind a little bit, but like a little touch up here and there. But a when touch you're, up. When, you're but no, when you start face, with the cannot, lips, I was going to say Joker. you cannot touch it's the, Joker. the lips. The it's lips. a dead giveaway. Right. And you know what? Everybody morphs into the same face. Yeah. It's the weirdest thing. Okay, and you know what? And I want to say, I, I want to say this as People politely as I can. Um. We have a very good friend uh, who has a, a son with Down syndrome. Mm. But the Down syndrome children, they have a similar look. Yeah. Like they really could be like from the same family. I don't know how that works, but it does. Yeah. The women that are doing this to their lips, yeah. they look like they're all related in a really uncomfortable, yeah. awkward, bad totally. way. Totally. It's not good. Yeah. Please, just let me say this. If you're out there and you're thinking about doing this, no. I know a couple of people have done it and it's been it's been good, it's been fine. But I think it's like when it comes to breasts sometimes, if a 34 is good, a 38 has to be better. If an eight ounce steak is good, a 12 ounce steak has to be better. Bigger is not necessarily better and it definitely isn't when it comes to lips. As you're wearing an I Love Please. Boobies sweatshirt. That's very oh, But this is about breast cancer. That's cancer. <laughs> really, Kel, you just put down the whole cancer movement no. with that one Sam. comment. How do you feel? <laughs> feel good about yourself? Stop it. Oh, uh, Leela made a comment um, on YouTube after watching episode 124. Mm-hmm which is the big feta one, which was so good. So good. I put that on Facebook today. Something there. No, I put it in my newsletter went out today. If you don't get my newsletter, you can go to the website. It's up on the left hand, top left hand corner. It says newsletter. It's free. It comes randomly. Um, She wrote, I miss watching him on TV. He's awesome. Thank God for YouTube. And that's because Lynn's putting all the episodes from this on YouTube and you can go there and watch. Mm-hmm. It's cool. Sam Livecast channel, subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. There might be many other ways to get the show, but this is a very simple one. I think it's, it's a fast, simple one. Yeah. yeah. And and don't forget, um, because we we record forty five minutes to an hour, <laughs> it's a lot of content. So if you're gonna watch it off of iTunes, it's gonna download to whatever it is you've got. And it's, if, a, it's a bunch of you know, it's a bunch you know of what, space. Sam, Can you I don't just say that? Oh, yeah. yeah, Steve. Well, I was just gonna say. I mean, if you do it, if you just subscribe on iTunes, then then and you can tell it how many episodes you want at a time. Mm-hmm. What's great about it is if you continually plug into your computer. Or oh, I see. The next morning you have all the new episodes, yeah. which is yeah. great. So you can take it with you. So if you take the bus. Or if you have some downtime at lunch, whatever, it's mm-hmm. great to have on your phone. That's and true. that's actually better quality. Than watching on YouTube. And so. people got to remember, we have an HD stream, which is the bigger file, and then we have SD stream, which mm-hmm. um, the smaller file. It's right. a little smaller, and I think the quality is great. Yeah, I watch it on my exactly. computer all the time. No, well, absolutely. So I'm, just I'm another totally way there. of you're right. Enjoying you're right. this show. Uh, and we're all looking forward to Roku. We don't know when that's happening. We think when it's a couple our, of weeks away. When is our Roku going to be here? That's the question. You or, No, when's our Roku? You ordered one. When is it going to be here so we can play with oh, it? Oh, uh, I was no, going to say, I he's making actually, a blank you face. No, I didn't actually order one. Yeah, you were. I was standing next to you. No, I said I was going to order one. Should I or should these th- these guys hook us up or something? I think that's where it ended. I will order okay, one. Okay. But I don't uh, really need to order it until we're on there. That's, yeah. And I'm sure you can get it with a couple of It is just days. a cool device, but yeah, if anybody out there is kind of looking for something like that and Apple TV <laughs> you're not really into, I mean it's a great device. Like if you don't Do if both. you if you don't yeah. know uh-huh. um, Apple TV and Roku are little boxes. Show the box, Steve. Mhm. They're it's both so under 100 tiny. bucks. Apple TV is like 99 bucks. Roku I think for their top one is like 80 bucks. It's mm-hmm. a little tiny box that plugs into your internet and then into your TV. Mm-hmm. And, you got um, some photos online, right? Yeah, there's probably pictures online. 
This is the Roku. Right? And so it gives you Netflix. It gives you a ton of movies. It gives you internet stuff. Mm -hmm. It gives you Hulu, Pandora. which actually Apple TV does not. Pandora. A ton of stuff. Hulu is great. I know so many people these days that are cutting their cable bill yeah. off. It's so I'm easy to use. It feels, the day, the, yeah, the day is coming, and we may be at the beginning of it, but the 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 movement of not having cable anymore is coming very quickly. Yeah. Absolutely, I kind of very like it. quickly. I love it. If I like it if too. If you're a person out there and all you enjoy doing is watching the same live cast, there's no reason for you to have cable. Yeah, I you think can there's get a, it all online. I think the yeah. whole generation Max or mm -hmm. that even that age group that skews just younger mm -hmm. than you. Yeah, none of them are even moving out no, and look, even I mean, entertaining the idea of getting so like here, a lot of i mean an argument is that people say oh i want to have hbo and previously you weren't able to get that but now with roku look hbo it. go is one of the things every single company is now coming mm -hmm. out right with a method for you to watch their stuff online well what's, and, oh sorry go what's ahead what's also cool too is that most tvs are having this stuff embedded already in right yeah, you're exactly. starting to embed so cool. you'll be able to buy a tv BM and just have that stuff steve the new bmws yeah they have stitcher look implanted in right. The car is yeah. already to start. So exactly. if you're buying a new car that has Stitcher, you can listen to our shows in your yeah. car wow. at I mean, all times. People aren't investing this kind of money mm -hmm. without thinking this is going to be the future. Exactly. Right? I mean, it's crazy. I even saw a commercial. So I have Cox Digital Cable at my place uh, in North County. And we're in North County. But anyway. Um, North North County. Yeah, North North County. Northern, North, and North there's North. a new app that came out for your iPhone. It's the Cox Digital Cable app. And you can access your cable through your iPhone now, just completely for free. By the way, speaking of Cox, mm -hmm. tonight at five o'clock, first San Diego Padres baseball game. Mm -hmm. Dodgers. We live in Opening day. Time Warner territory. We do. We can't get it. I know, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Fox they're Sports? Yeah, they're, they're having a fight with Time Warner right now. Interesting. What? We and can't we're not, get it. We're not getting the game. Isn't we that can't weird? Get the game. We're going through this again? In your hometown. It's weird. How ridiculous hey, is this Hey, we've done bullshit. this with Charger games. We've done this, is this with so, It's games. so stupid. You know what? San Diego's but, not a very good sports town. I thought oh we were doing Well, I mean, goodness. it's okay. You know what? We like our two teams that we have. Yeah. Not enough. We don't like the cable company issues with what with what goes on. That's the problem. By the way, this half it's hour of, of the Sam though. Livecast <laughs> is brought to you by... <laughs> Fixtures Living, who all yes, this month, is. Fridays and Saturdays, are celebrating Patio Nation. And it's all about demonstrations and learning about great and new outdoor cooking products. Mm -hmm. Evos. They're they going to have some food on them. I'll be at Fixtures Living tomorrow in San Diego. They're demoing the Evo, which is my wet dream when it comes to outdoor <laughs> Evo <laughs> on my mind. <laughs> cooking products. And maybe the Evo people wouldn't want me comparing my wet dreams with what they make but i'm telling you it's badass i'll take some pictures tomorrow it's quite an and endorsement. the green egg which i own right now and i love mm -hmm. and they have nothing to do with blocking the padres game so. they have nothing to do with <laughs> no, blocking and not only do they not have anything to do with blocking the padres game uh, this live cast will be doing a remote an on the road remote from fixtures living in san diego on dowdy street next wednesday night from six o'clock to seven you can come, you can watch, you can see, you can watch all of this stupidity as it happens. And because it's it's um, Patio Nation month and it's all about grilling, I will be grilling. I don't know what, but I'm going to yeah. be grilling something and you'll be able to eat Sounds it. Sounds good. Something Non good. Nonsense. I'll It'll try not nonsense. to do something shitty. I'll try and do something good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> there you go. I'll try not to do something shitty, guys. I promise. <laughs> Speaking of shitty, yes, um, I saw two people eat something really shitty on the internet, and I thought it would be good for the show. Ew. It's like a, it's like a, a but different version of who, who eats, eats this, this shit. shit. Well, a good like we watch but this on, and then we should do this. Uh, well, you know what? I might try and get these things imported. I think you know what they are. Let's uh, take a look at it. Oh, is this what we were talking about? The a weird food. It's no, sustenance. Not yeah. for a third world country. <laughs> you might get a, a, batul a, a beak. No, it's called balloon. Or some balloon, feathers sorry. in it. But this, the, uh, the yolk, I really like. So okay, so cheers. volume down Double a little high. bit, Max. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, so high. balut <laughs> is an embryoed chicken egg. Oh. Is that right, Lynn? Oh. Yeah, and there's... Okay, it's, it's, like, it's, it's, it's a Filipino thing. But look, watch what they're going to pull out. Oh, no, 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 no. no. 
So it's a chicken, a baby, oh embryonic. Sometimes you get the beak. Oh, that's so chicken. Oh, oh there's beak. The beak. Oh, 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 Okay. She gets excited Wait, and tells it says it's good vinegar? luck yeah. when you have the form head. Other way around. Don't tell me he's going to eat it. Vinegar? Yeah. So it's no. like a pickleback. Look, you do a, a shot of vinegar. Oh, they do a shot of vinegar. You know what I would have to do? I would have to do a shot of heroin. Because <laughs> nothing's getting me to eat that. <laughs> they just say this is so effing foul. And look at the Filipino guy on to his right. Is like this, dude. If you're not gonna have that, I'll finish it. I know he's totally hovering. I'm a, look at he's sal <laughs> salivating oh that poor guy. Like this. Okay, look fine. at him. Who even does that? Oh God, is there gonna be chewing and crunching and oh? I love his face. Why vinegar? Because it sterilizes your insides or something. Because oh, okay, that's enough. Okay, gross. Eat anything that he's sterilizing. Oh my God. We are not doing that. No, you know what? I'm gonna find them. First of all, <laughs> I'm Max gonna find them. I know where they come from. Where? Okay. You can get them anywhere here, so I know it's easily here. accessible. So look, San Diego, oh, look, by the right. way, San Diego has a very <laughs> significant Filipino community. Mm. Oh, huge, so not really huge yeah. here. It's an important part of our city. Mm -hmm. And that's and there's, common? There's definitely, well, you know what? Almost every Filipino that I have like a five minute conversation with, at some point I say, all right, let's talk about this. Yeah. Where do you stand with Balut? And I'd say 30% have had it. Oh. And maybe of that 30%, 30% of those think it's okay, which is a kind of a small number. Yeah. It's not very much. So it's not. Jeez. It's like horrifying. It is not yeah. like you're going to. What's that place? That a Filipino fast food, a Jollibee. Ugh. You're not going to Jollibee, which has chicken and rice and stuff like that, regular fast food stuff, and ordering a balut. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll have the chicken. You're eating Here's it. Here's some mac and cheese. Oh. Uh, is the balut fresh today? <laughs> hey, give me a couple of those. Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, don't look up, Kelly. Don't look up. You know what's weird? I'm I'm looking at. The it's a little baby. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. Mm -hmm. The balut, I will eat, okay? Let's put it that way. Really? You'd eat it? I just, I'm not down with the vinegar shot. Oh, okay, wait we're a getting it. second. We are getting it. Are you effing with us? No, no now I'm getting, not. Now we have to we're get We're getting it. it. I just told you like one of my like, like, you know, sometimes when people say they like to eat ketchup packets, mm -hmm. that grosses me out. That's gross. What? But that's fine. When some people say that they do okay, tell you what, vinegar. Monday night, fine. Monday night, right uh, here. Holy. I Monday, wait. No, let's save this for the, the remote. Ew. Okay. Oh, I don't Wednesday know. night at hey, Fixture's you know Living. You know Fixture's going to want us to do that all when, pressure is Wednesday on. Wednesday night at Fixtures Living, you go down on some balut, and I'll take one for the team, and I'll have a I'll have a ketchup packet. No, 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 no. If we're doing this, we're doing this together like we normally oh, do. Oh, dude. Yeah. No, you're you doing are, this. You're no, 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 no. Like, this is, there's a clear line here. I'm not the whack job that said, oh, an embryonic chicken and egg with feathers and beak. I'm okay with that, but I don't want the vinegar the shot. Vinegar. That is pretty funny. Dude, that's all you, man. No, we're going to do it. You, we always do this together, man. And you haven't I finished one yet. On and I haven't here, finished buddy. one. Well, I'll tell you what. This will be the one that I don't even fucking start. Wait, that's so funny you said that. Because I was just about to say what Diane said, which is what I actually am saying right now in my head. Fucking stop with the pictures. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah, it's that's disgusting. True. Probably don't need any more. Sorry. That's disgusting. We get the point. Oh, my God. Hey, Lynn was eager. Uh, I'm not eager. Look, I don't want to eat it, but if we're going to do this, Matt, I already had snails. Wait, so let's talk about juice, this, though. Like, whatever. Where, can, where am I going to find? Where am I going to find a Filipino store that I go to pick these up? No, just go to Ranch. Well, sure ranch okay. doesn't. I don't what, think Ranch has them. Worse. No, I think you need you that? need more car, hardcore than that. Ooh, I love Century. You just, oh, look, you Google, asshole. where can I get Balut in San Diego? And it will come up. Yep. Uh, a couple of uh, Filipino guys were telling me about a, a gas station... Uh, beside a little restaurant place in uh, National City, Chula Vista. No. I'm not sure where it was, but it's a but it's like a little. You go in, they have blue all the time. Oh. And they say you see guys walking out doing this. So the eggs are whole and they're peeling off the shell at the top so they can get to the. Why? That's, they eat uh, it like that. Well, I don't know what they do, but. Anyway. Oh. Oh. Why? Anyway, so when we're fixtures. Next Wednesday, April 11th, from 6 to 7. And by the way, uh, honored to say, my cousin, Peter, who owns Alesmiths, 
award-winning uh, millions of beers will mm-hmm. be there with Ale Smith for everybody to have. Sweet. Yep. So awesome. Uh, you'll be able to watch Lynn. <laughs> no, we are doing down it together. Blue. Dude. <laughs> Challenge. Okay, down. bring it. All right, you're right. I'll do it with you. <laughs> Bring it, dude. Come on. You got it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll try it. I'm going to try it. No with one wants two. to go and watch me eat it. They yes, all wanna, they, they do. They all want to go and watch you no, eat it. No, people just want to watch anybody eat it. They don't care. The uh, president of the Philippines eating it is a spectacle. I'm just going to say this right now. Yeah? You're eating it. Oh, no. You're eating Pollute. it. I can call that right now you're eating it. Can we talk about this? Can we well, change you might the attempt to this? eat it. <laughs> Everybody knows what Mutz is. Mm-hmm. So in the story of Passover, which begins tomorrow, which we'll be celebrating in Palm Springs Saturday night with our family, and then again here for an urban Seder at Urban Solace in North Park, matzah figures very prominently in the story of Passover, in the Jews' exodus from Egypt. Because after the Jews were enslaved by the Pharaoh, and finally... Uh, after Moses going to the Pharaoh and saying, if you don't let my people go, uh, God will sick a, a uh, number of plagues on you that you won't want brought down on your sorry ass. And Pharaoh said, uh, yeah, right. So, you know, what is your God? What can your God do that will make me sorry? So then, then all of the bad things happened. Uh, God turned the Nile River into blood. He sent frogs down, just like raining of frogs. Lice came, insects, the, the cattle got disease. There was uh, boils set onto the people. Uh, crazy hail, locusts, darkness for weeks at a time. And then the thing that finally got Pharaoh in the story of Passover, the Jews flight out of Egypt was death of the firstborn, the Egyptians' firstborn. Anyway, so the Jews flee and... I'm the firstborn. You're the firstborn. <laughs> well, fortunately, <laughs> you, we didn't live dark. in the olden days. That's some dark <laughs> shit right there. That's <laughs> some dark shit, man. Um, so Passover is, is named because God said to Moses, look, I'm going to take out the Egyptians' firstborn, but I need to know... Which homes have Jews in them and which homes have Egyptians in them? I'm only going to touch the Egyptians. God can do everything, but apparently he couldn't tell the difference between a Jewish home and and an Egyptian home. So the Jews took lamb's blood and put it across the doors of their homes. And when God came that one night to kill the Egyptian firstborn, he knew to pass over the homes of the jews because they had blood on the doors hence the name passover anyway so he finally relents and he goes all right get the hell out of here i don't want you here anymore and they start fleeing but they suspect he's not going to keep his promise and they don't have a lot of time and they're on the road they're getting out of egypt and they need to eat they have to make bread so they take their bread making products their wheat and the water and whatever but they don't have time to let the bread rise by using yeast. So they pat big flat rounds of their dough product on rocks. They let it bake quickly in the sun. And then they become big, big crackers and they put them in their backpacks and on they go. Hence, the no using leavening agents or yeast, yeast products hmm. during the uh, holiday of Passover. That's where matzah comes from. I'm going to cook with matzah tonight, by the way. Oh. And it is not just something that you can eat if you're a Jew. And you won't turn Jewish by eating it. I'll just tell you that right now. So you could go get it. And I'm going to mix this with eggs, which is a crazy ass thing. But when I told Max what I was making tonight, I'm so excited. He salivated. Oh, I'm so excited. I just went to Elijah's to have the matzo ball yeah, soup. Steve. How was it? it? Oh, I love it. Isn't it good? It's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's it's get great. it. Let's get it going. By the way, DZ Aiken is my favorite. Uh, yeah. Well, Jewish place. Well, is a lot closer. It's a lot closer. Yeah, yeah. Yep, a lot closer. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm ready, Stephen. Are you ready? And we're going to try and figure out what's going on with the with the black eyed peas as we get over there. The second half hour of the Sam Livecast brought to you by Donovan's Steak and Chop House, Donovan's Prime Seafood. By the way, my newsletter that went out today. If you get it for free, it had a picture 
of the Sam uh, Captain Crunch Seared Tuna on Donovan's Bar Menu. Nice. It's there, waiting for you. We talked about their proficiency at making cocktails last night. I mean, does it just go without saying, a place that makes a steak as well as they do any kind of steak in an 1800 degree oven mm -hmm. is going to know how to make a great freaking cocktail. Wait, do you remember what we had the name we made for, we developed for the cocktails? No. The BFCs. Big fucking cocktails. Yep. Oh. There you go. The BFCs. They do. They pour a good cocktail. You know what? This is not a trait that is in every restaurant in this country and it's definitely not a trait that's in the southern hemisphere. You go to New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Steve, can they pour a cocktail in New Zealand? Hell yeah. No, they can't. I can't remember. No. <laughs> you know what they do? They take their little measurer oh, and they pour it in controlled. right to the top, bink, and that's it. It's the same in Canada. It's There's very, parts of Canada that's like that, yes. Unless my brother in law's people is pouring cocktails <laughs> yeah. for you. But at Donovan's, I don't think they own a measuring utensil. They just pour BFCs. Good. And I love it. They're great people. Their food is amazing. It really is the best steak place in San Diego and Phoenix, you should go there. All right, get my newsletter, see the picture. Are you ready? ready? Let's cook, let's cook something. Oh, I too, okay. By the way, by the way, who's ever, whoever gave, come over here, look at this. Here we go, here's the instructions for Simmer. I didn't realize it ever said Simmer right there. So clearly it does. Here's what's going on in the pot. Ready? One, two. Oh, no. Nothing. No, that's a simmer. That's a, I can pee with more force than what's going on in that <laughs> thing. And you know what? I lifted the lid and I was going to give it a stir and I just... And by the way, I'm a 52-year-old man. I shouldn't have much force left when I have to pee. But, but see, here's what I want. I want to take this ham hock. Now, look at, see this, Steve? Check this out right here. This now is starting to fall apart, right? So that I'm gonna wanna bust up and put into this. All right, so here, let me get the, let me get the matzo bride going and then we'll see what happens. Can I cut to Facebook real quick? Of course. Okay, Allison Lynch wants to know, did you go back to a 60 minute show? What's the answer, dad? No, it's 6.44. No, hey. We, have, we, talked, about, we talked about this last night. Save what do we say? We're, it's, it's, a, it's a 45 minute to an hour show. There you go. We're trying not to go I don't know what I'm doing. Hell, it's good. Do just it's going to be between 45 minutes and an hour. <laughs> I don't know. It's between 45 minutes and an hour. Here we hour. go. It's it's it very simple. How about this? Yes. Sarah Hess yes. says, when I visit, I dare you to a whiskey challenge at Donovan's. Uh -oh. <laughs> really? Yeah. What, what do I have? What? You want to know what I said? I'll even buy. Yes. I said, it's a deal, with or without Blake. Oh. <laughs> No Blake. No Blake. Oh. No Blake, you can come. Okay, so look at here's the thing to do. Um, I'm gonna take. I'll just make one for now. I'm gonna take the the piece of matzah. They're all the same size. I'm gonna break it into a few like little rough pieces like this. Basically, we're having eggs and crackers, and I know that that sounds sort of really kind of bizarre, and it is a little bit bizarre. <coughs> but it's super delicious. So watch, I'm gonna take these, put them in this bowl, break a couple of the big ones. The little tiny stuff like this, these little tiny pieces, I'm not interested in. They're just gonna get in the way and piss me off. So we do that. I want hot water right here that's almost there. By the way, this hot water in this house comes from the garage that's two rooms behind Kelly, and there's just no way that it ever gets here fast. Yeah, we need we need one of those recirculating hot water things. Instant hot water things, I think, is what it's called. Those are cool. Those are cool. Do you have that in your place? I can. I don't know what we have. I can provide some entertainment while we're waiting. What can you do? Look at the monitor. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Isn't it wow. insane? Wow, Lynn, Amazing. that's nuts. Hey, Lynn. Yeah. Can you sing? Can I sing? I know you play guitar. Uh, I sing every Sunday at church. There you yeah. go. Let's hear it. Go. You know, harmonies? Uh, Bust it out, buddy. Dude, by the way, I'm so sorry good. you got voted off American Idol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it okay, was so look at hot water, right? I'm going to take this. 
Wow. Now I'm gonna soak these crackers. Interesting. Really? In hot water. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's a it's a nutty thing. But while I do this, I need a couple eggs. Whoa, 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 whoa! Sorry. And we're really like in a bad spot right there. Sam, now Haley I don't want this. Needs a bath. Who needs a bath? Haley. All right. In the worst way. Okay, watch this. Hi, Haley. Okay, watch. Mm -hmm. See? No, she stinks. It's gonna get another minute. While this is while that is softening. I'm going to take two eggs, uh, not in their embryonic state, oh. and do this. Uh-oh, little piece of shell. I really fancied myself on being able to do this quite well. Huh. Oh, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Richard goes, I can do a vodka challenge. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sarah. Sarah's going down hard. Okay. So beaten egg, we all understand that concept. Of course we need some salt and we need some pepper. I think I've asked you this before, but do you ever do milk? Uh, when I do, when I do uh, scrambled eggs? Yeah. No, I don't. I never do milk, ever. So is that just a technique that some milk. people like to utilize? Yeah, absolutely. Some people really like to do uh, milk in their eggs and that's just not, it's not for me. Okay, I'm gonna drain this now. So can you elaborate on why you use the water? Yeah, the water softens it. If you don't use the water, it's kind of a little bit too crunchy. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't really it doesn't really come out nice. Got it. I used to know a guy that owned a deli here. I mean, it looks kind of gross. It's a weird thing. I have to admit, it's a weird thing. But with Passover right now, I thought I would take a moment to share a little bit of our people's food with the outside world. So now I'm just going to take this broken up matzah, put it in here with the egg, and do that, and now it's ready to go into the pan. Wow, that easy. Two eggs, one piece of matzah, it's all good. The pan should be hot, like this. Could be a little bit hotter. I'll put a little uh, butter in, right here, oops. Let this start to do its thing. D Dave asks, doesn't Sam always say to crack eggs on the counter rather than on the bowl to avoid the shell? Accident? No, no, no. Mm. My point was this. You crack eggs on the flat, not, not on here, which is what I didn't do. When I just did it, I did it inside at the bottom of the bowl and then on the, this part of the bowl. You don't want to take an egg and do it right here because I think that's where the shell problems are. So whether it's here or whether it's on the flat of the bowl, whether it's on the side of the bowl, you're okay. Not on that little ledge. Okay, now these are gonna go in. And look, there's two ways to make, uh, this is called, uh, when I grew up, we called it matzahs and eggs. Uh, in restaurants, officially, they call it matzah braai. There's two ways to do this. You can do what I'm gonna do now, which is like a pancake style, or you can do like a scrambled egg style. I think pancake style is a little more fun and then it's gonna let me, you know, flip it and make it all fancy that kind of way. So, sort of like an omelet, I like to pull back the sides and let a little bit of the uncooked part run underneath. This does not take very long. It smells interesting, Steve, yeah? Mm hmm This is so weird. Lucky is even smelling Haley like it's weird. Okay, you gotta stop that. No, right, look at they just sat next to each other. Oh no. <laughs> no, Lucky, stop it, no, stop no, no, it. no. Get it off him, get it off. Lynn. No, just chill. Oh, lie down. No. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to serve this. And here's the really weird part. Uh, with a little jam. And my favorite, which I don't seem to have, is raspberry. I really like raspberry. I jam love cookies. raspberry. We don't have any, I know it. Trust Are you me. kidding me? Probably because mom left it out instead of putting it in the freezer. No, or in the we fridge. just have your stupid strawberry. Stupid. Wait. No, we're using Becky's. I, I was going to say we have Becky's. Not my strawberry. Becky's amazing. Well, Blackberry. Kind of this will be fantastic. Plate. Okay. A little bit longer here. See? If you, if you have a decent non-stick, and I say decent, I mean, this thing is not an expensive pan. But if you have a non-stick that's not all chewed up, if you have a non-stick that is chewed up, if you have a non-stick that you've used, you've used metal in, 
and it's pitted and there's bits missing and it's flaking, throw that thing out. That's dangerous. If you have a non-stick that's perfectly smooth and flat, right? You don't use too much heat and you lubricate it well like I did with butter. See how this thing works? Well, I'm going to flip this thing in a minute and it's going to be genius. A little more heat. Do you ever throw cheese in there? No, God, no. You're not my son. Who are you? <laughs> I didn't say throw cheese in there. I said, do you ever throw cheese in there? Jesus. No. Hey. Why don't you just tend to your heart right there, okay? And by the way. Your tongue and heart in a bowl. By the way, Easter is only a couple days away. Do you have to use hasty? <laughs> right. That's right. That's what I'm sure Jesus said nothing to do Jesus, with that conversation. Max. Thank you. Okay. How about this? <laughs> Sandy just says she found Just Cook This on Apple TV. That's a whole other... Oh, rest. absolutely it's on there. What? Right. What? Yeah, it's uh, you can buy Just Cook This oh, yeah, on, on iTunes, iTunes. So yeah, then it's... That. Oh, that's TV. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Except, by the way, by except the way, for our favorite show. Except for a Hong Kong show that's not there. And by the way, when you're buying uh, episodes of Just Cook This on uh, Apple TV, Steve Rye is not making any money from it. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, I got I to gotta try and flip this. I'm feeling a little questionable about this. A little loose, huh? Yeah, but here, what the hell, ready? Uh -oh. One, two. Oh, oh nice. Here we go. Wow. I should have gone a little wider with that one. Oh, did you miss that? No, I kind of got it. <laughs> no, I'm watching it back tomorrow. Did I miss it, Max? <laughs> no, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good, so we're almost there. A little less heat, that's almost ready. I gotta do something with this. I gotta figure out this monstrosity. There's a trash can right here. I don't know what right to here. do here. Oh, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That I know jam it is doesn't. Awesome. Some people like this with like butter or syrup or whatever. Oh, I love the idea. This is like, it's kind of crazy. See, I love when I have. Uh, eggs go wide, go wide. Into, okay, wait. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There you go. <laughs> to go to Facebook real quick, uh, yeah. what you were just saying, Steve, Brian Herbert says, can't say eggs and jam sound good. See, I love it. it well, how see, about this? I agree. It might not sound the best, but I'm telling you, Brian, it's amazing. It's Wait, so good. It's not just eggs and jam. <laughs> it's worse. It's eggs, crackers, and jam. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? And now you just get a little piece right here. Get a little bit of Becky's jam. Not too much. Mmm. Mm, I love it. You want a bite? Let me feed Steve. <laughs> you know what? After feeding him all that baby food last night, it just feels right. <laughs> <laughs> He's growing up. Our young Steve. Here's your bite, dude. Wait, what, Can there I you see? Go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got that all on camera. <laughs> Isn't it good? Oh, it's excellent. It's really good. Give him one more bite. In a restaurant? It's called matzo brai. Here it's matzo and eggs. Okay, right. so this is exactly what I was about to say because when I when I eat eggs, I like a toast, a little bit of jam on the toast. Oh, you do. And I love when the jam gets a little bit of jam gets on the toast and that's interesting. Mix everything. All right. and that's exactly what it tastes like. It's really good. Okay, so here's 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 the other thing. Watch this. Uh, this is a lot. I don't I have no idea how this is gonna be, dude. No what a idea. Weird combination. And by the way, yeah, I was gonna say, how That's opposite so can you get? Weird. Pork. <laughs> Pork <laughs> right. next to a juice. I mean, dish. really, Sam? <laughs> okay, but wait, 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 God. but wait, but don't stop there. Hold That's on. Weird. Hold on. Here's the hard part. Here's the hard part. Haley's, Haley's face says it all. <laughs> right. She's even weird. Wait. Actually, she's going. Why do I smell? Something smells bad around here. <laughs> oh no! No, it doesn't. You, nothing Haley. smells bad. No, it doesn't I'm, smell bad. I'm saying she stinks. It's oh, her. stop it! Please <laughs> leave her alone. <laughs> You're so mean. Yeah, don't be mean to Haley. So who's gonna give her a bath? Okay. You so watch. Smell see bad. now this. She smells. Now look. Now see how this is. Whoa. Now this is like really ready to like shred up. Mm -hmm. Goes really well with the matzo brine. <laughs> yeah, it is. Ew. Like that. Hey, you know what? Okay. okay, I don't think you're supposed to like put that thing on the plate. People don't want that. Aren't you supposed to like no. shred that and put it back in the pot? Do you not see what I'm doing? This is going back in here. Okay. Please, Kel. You know what? Honey, I, I love you. But when it that. comes to food, 
You are my absolute polar opposite. <laughs> so stay out of it. No, it's gross. Please, okay, people don't want to hear you saying that now. <laughs> Stop it, Max. That There's a lot of fat. Good. I would like there to be a little less fat. Oh, here we go. This piece. Oh, that makes it little. better. Oh, yeah. Look at this. This is great. <laughs> so now, okay. So maybe we've gotten something here now. So then all you do is you take some of this hawk. Yeah. Is this, Steve, does it look like how you remember it? Uh, I never did the hawk thing. But does the, the beans? Yeah, the beans look good. The black eyed peas? Mm -hmm. But you did yours with ketchup, right? Ketchup. That was your thing, right? I feel like I want to give it a little pepper, for sure, because it really doesn't have any seasoning. And I don't know about salt, so I'm just going to try now. And then I'm going to give you some, dude. <laughs> This is from uh, Terry and Gay Wynn in Florence, Mississippi. <laughs> Hot? It's really good. Is it? Oh yeah, you're gonna like this. So explain again what's in there? So all it is is this was just black eyed peas that you need to blow in this a little bit. Here, give me the camera. <laughs> Let's try this. This is nonsense. So this is just black eyed peas, it's pretty hot, that I, uh, I soaked for eight hours. Mm. And then I cooked it for pretty much the last two hours. That's perfect. With those two ham hocks in there, just mm. covered with water. No Very seasoning, good. no nothing. There's really like two ingredients. <laughs> you know what we could have done? We could have sauteed a little onion, a little bit of garlic. Oh yeah. And that would have been delicious, right? Yeah. How about something green? This is very awkward. <laughs> uh, but you know what, Kill? Yeah. Uh, green is not what the South is about. It is so time. colored greens and stuff. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Look what we've got. We've stuff. got we've got this, and then we've got this, and then we've got this, <laughs> and then we've got this. Okay. You're I'm having a little too much fun and with then that camera, the yeah. buddy. There's a the leftover hawk. All right, so everybody. Uh, let me say, it's Thursday, Easter's here, <laughs> Pass. oh, here, I can give this back. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we've got Passover starting tomorrow, Easter's this weekend, have a wonderful, a wonderful time with your family, if you're with family, if you're not, to just have a wonderful time, period. We'll be back here Monday night, one live cast to go, before Lynn and I eat Balut. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Look at him, he's great. running already. He's eating blue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Have a good night. Happy Thursday. See you next week.